Have you ever heard of ciguatera? Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of this foodborne illness. Ciguatera is a kind of food poisoning, not your run-of-the-mill type, but one that's caused by consuming contaminated fish. It's a prevalent issue, especially in warm, tropical regions of the world where certain types of reef fish thrive. These fish, often the larger predatory species like barracuda, grouper and snapper, can carry a toxin produced by microscopic sea organisms known as dinoflagellates. This toxin gets accumulated in fish through the food chain, and when we consume such contaminated fish, it can lead to ciguatera. The toxin doesn't get eliminated by cooking or freezing, making it a silent predator on our plates. It's a fascinating yet concerning issue, and being aware of it is our first step towards prevention. Now that we know what ciguatera is, let's delve into its symptoms. Within hours of consuming contaminated fish, you may start to feel unwell. The first sign is often gastrointestinal distress. You might find yourself battling a bout of nausea, accompanied by vomiting and diarrhea. These are your body's immediate reactions to the ciguatera toxin, but it doesn't stop at your stomach. The toxin can also mess with your nervous system, triggering a range of neurological symptoms. You might feel dizzy, as if the room is spinning around you. You could experience a strange tingling sensation like pins and needles pricking your skin. And then there's muscle weakness, which could make the simplest tasks seem like a strenuous workout. These symptoms aren't just fleeting discomforts. They can persist for quite some time. Some people recover in a matter of days while others suffer for weeks. In rare cases these symptoms can even linger for months, making ciguatera a long-term tenant in your body. And here's the kicker. These symptoms can reappear if you consume alcohol or certain types of seafood again, even long after your initial recovery. It's as if the toxin has a cruel sense of humor, playing a nasty game of hide-and-seek in your body. Now that we know the symptoms, what about the treatment? Unfortunately, there is no specific antidote for Shiguatera. When it comes to treatment, the main approach is symptom relief. You're probably asking how so? Well, let's break it down. Firstly, hydration is key. Drinking plenty of fluids can help counteract the dehydration caused by symptoms like vomiting and diarrhea. Secondly, it's advisable to avoid alcohol and caffeine. These substances can exacerbate dehydration and potentially worsen symptoms. And what about the nausea, the dizziness, and those pesky tingling sensations? Anti-nausea medications might be your new best friend. They can help soothe some of the discomfort and make the recovery process a tad less daunting. But remember, these are just general guidelines. It's always best to consult a healthcare professional for personalized advice. With treatment covered, the best defense is prevention. So how can we prevent ciguatera? Preventing ciguatera involves being selective about the fish you consume. This is because ciguatera is not caused by the fish itself, but by a toxin that the fish may carry. Predatory reef fish such as barracuda, grouper, and snapper are more likely to carry this toxin. These fish consume smaller fish that feed on coral reefs, where the toxin originates, leading to a higher concentration of the toxin in their systems. It's a common misconception that cooking can eliminate this toxin. The truth is, no amount of grilling, frying, or boiling can rid the fish of ciguatera. The toxin is heat-resistant, meaning it can withstand high temperatures without breaking down. So, even a well-cooked fish could potentially cause ciguatera if it carries the toxin. This brings us to the importance of sourcing your fish. By choosing fish from reputable sources, you significantly reduce the risk of ciguatera. Reputable sources ensure the fish they sell are sourced from waters less likely to have the toxin-producing algae, and hence, less likely to carry the toxin. In essence, prevention of ciguatera is a matter of being an informed consumer. Know what types of fish are more likely to carry the toxin, understand that cooking doesn't eliminate the toxin, and choose your fish from sources you trust. To wrap up, stay informed about ciguatera. Understand its symptoms, know the treatment, and most importantly, learn how to prevent it. Thank you for joining us today, and don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content.